What's going on guys? Welcome back. Another normal run here on American Truck Simulator. Back into 389 and the skin comes from EVRs. This blue streak metallic. Little baby blue. Something different. I don't think I've done that color before or at least I haven't in a long time. I don't remember so who knows. Anyway, uh, hooked up to this I've got the Maximizer dump here. This one is an old one still works uh the description says works on 1.3 and 1.4 so this one is quite old i looked at the upload date and it was back in 2016 so over a year old almost a year and a half now and it still works i'll take it uh load today the cargo is gravel going from carson city here over to san rafael to the caterpillar i believe this is a construction site we're delivering to so, we got some stuff to talk about today, uh, SCS, a lot of stuff really, and stuff that they have going on, stuff that they're doing, so let's uh, shut up, listen to this sweet Cummins 600, go to work, and I'll come back to you guys in a minute. Well, that was it for the outside cam. So. Oh, this thing sounds so good. Alright. Update 1.1. Or, I'm sorry. Update 1.3.1 will be coming at us here shortly. And if you guys didn't notice, the game has updated to 1.30.2. O2, I think it was. Don't know what was in this update. It was probably some minor things here and there, so really nothing to discuss, nothing to really worry about. Although it might break some mods. I have not had any issues here. So keep that in mind, boys. I'm sure you guys already know about the update anyway, if you guys are regular players. Uh, but 1.3.1 is going to have a couple of upgrades for us. A couple of new additions. One of them that they announced not too long ago is Tioga Pass, if I'm saying that correctly. It's a pass that goes through Yellowstone Park, and normally, trucks are not allowed. Uh, so, that has caused some issues with some people. Uh, as you guys know, some of you might be the same way. You know, they want to follow rules of road. You know, they want to treat this as a sim, as if they were really driving the truck in the real world. Um, so, roads that do not allow trucks to go down, they don't want to go down. This is one of those roads. And they admit as much in their blog post. But, they said the road is just so beautiful. We, you know, we, we feel we have to... Um, we have to have it. We have to put it in here so you guys can drive us. So, we're going to be getting it. 
it's a mountain pass through the forest preserve and, or a national park. Um, it's been mixed reaction. I have seen some people say, awesome, you guys are, we love you, you're the best company in the world, this and that and blah, 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 because they drank the Kool-Aid. Um, but the, uh, there, there, there were a couple other posts that said, you know what? You know, I understand why you did this. I'm going to drive it once just so I can show on the map I drove the road. But other than that, I will avoid it at all costs. And that's fine. But some people are a little upset about that. They don't like that SCS is putting stuff in here that is not normal for trucks. This hut, this road, for example. And there have been some grumblings from what I have seen that uh, they're starting to get turned off from ATS and S SCS because they're not treating the game as much of a to, you know, a, 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 as like a real sim like they think they should be. And they're starting to get turned off by it. They're, they're a little disgruntled by it. That's a little extreme in my opinion. My personal opinion. But you know what? Teach their own. I'm not, you know, uh, in the past I might have mocked or, or whatever, made fun of guys like that, but, you know, teach their own. I mean, I know it's really, really like that in the flight sim world. I, I, I know that. I, I am not part of that world, but I have seen that. I have heard of people doing that. Um, so, you know, to have it in this world, I'm not surprised. In, in the truck sim world. Not surprising whatsoever. Is this going to cause people to stop playing? I don't think so. You know, out of a thousand people, maybe one or two. I could see. But, you know, it, it's nothing, you know, serious or whatever, you know? Alright, we're going to stop and when we go, okay. So. What do you guys think, though? Do you care that roads that in the real world are not allowed to have trucks on them are being put in by SCS? Or, you know, you don't care. Just give us more roads. Give us more, give us more stuff. What do you guys think? Me, personally, it doesn't really matter. I've told you guys before, I don't treat this like a simulator. I do try to drive like I would in the real world, but it's a game. And there's nothing SCS can do that will provide me with the real world experience that I got when I was driving. And I don't think there's a driver out there that's going to, that plays this game, is going to deny that. You know, the, no one is going to say, oh yeah, I feel like I'm just driving a real truck. It gets us close. But the visual part does. That's pretty much it. You don't feel anything in the pedals. You don't feel anything in your joystick. I mean, I don't even think there's a joystick out there that has uh, forced feedback in it. The same for the pedals. For the pedals, all you can do is put little rubber stops underneath it. But, you know, that's it. Um, so, I mean, those are the things I'm talking about, but we'll never have that. And that's why, for me, this is never going to get beyond the game. But that's just me. So... Can I make this light? Can I make this light? Yes, I can. Now, also, if you guys notice, changing topic here real quick, the dashboard. There must be a mod I have activated right now that is not allowing the dashboard to show up correctly. Um, I could stop the video right here, go take a look, and remove some trucks. I'm not going to bother with it. Just don't hit I, otherwise you'll crash. So, if your dashboard is not showing up properly, I don't have the gear shift indicator or anything like that, you have a mod conflict. That's all it really is, I believe. 
Uh, maybe it's because the game updated. I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty. I'm 99% sure it's a mod conflict and nothing else. So keep that in mind, guys. If your dash is not showing up correctly, yeah, it sucks not having everything light up. You know, your mileage and your your gear, your speed, what, what have you. Come on, get in the gear. But, uh, you know, if it's that big of a deal, bring up the little info panel and there you go. You're good. At least everything else works. Oh, this is going to be a good one going up the hill. This guy's going to kill me, I know it. I just want to hammer down and power up the hill, but AI truck here is just going to kill me. goes. Take this moment to check out the truck. I wanted to go for a clean look here, so not a whole lot of lights. I'm sure that'll make some of you guys happy. I just put uh, four light blue LED lights in the back, and that was it. Hey, look at that. The truck and trailer were floating. Now the fun part. Let's go downhill. Now, the trailer here had, was updated by K Whopper. He had made some color changes and things like that. And then he removed his link. He hasn't removed the file or the, the, the page from ATSmods.lt, but he, he did apparently remove the link from what I had seen in the comments. Um, he was unhappy that people took the mod and re-uploaded it with a different upload link somewhere else. Um, so he says, you know what? It's gonna be it's gonna be private. Unfortunately, that's still a thing. It's always going to be a thing. So I, I don't know what people expect, to be quite honest. Uh, that suddenly everyone that plays this game or has anything to do with this game or you know whether it's ATS or ETS and run these sites that they're going to suddenly get a moral conscious it's not going to happen so unfortunately more and more of these mods are going to stay private and we're going to have to go digging into the past to get mods that are over a year old and haven't been touched because this is going to happen more often it's just the way things are going to be I guess so Get ready for that one, guys, unless more modders come out and, you know, are not going to really worry too much about that, or more of this stuff shows up on the uh, workshop, and there have been mods that have been pulled down off the workshop and uploaded to third-party sites, but not too many. So, we're going to have to keep an eye on that, keep the fingers crossed, and see how things continue to go. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of private mods, but, I mean, I'm not saying there shouldn't be any. I'm not going to say that. But, you know, keeping stuff private out of resentment for things that are out of outside your control or the actions of others, it does seem a little petty to me. 
you're not playing with my G.I. Joes the way I want you to play with them, so I'm going to take them and go home. You know, that kind of thing, you know? Duke doesn't use that gun. He uses this gun. You're being a big dummy head for you for doing that. I'm going home. That's my that's my view, my point of view on it, but you know, that's fine. To each their own with that. And that's why I'm not the most popular guy out there. But then again, ask me if I care. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna quote I'm not gonna fall down that rabbit hole. We're gonna get back to 1.3 talk here. So, next thing that's coming out with 1.3, aside from the new road, and I didn't notice, or I don't remember if there was talk of any other roads. I, there might have been, but I don't have the blog up in front of me right now. But, uh, the other thing that's coming out with 1.3 is airlines. We are getting hoses now from the tractor to the trailer. And they said it's a, it was a lot of code. They spent a lot of time on this, and it was very difficult, but they feel happy enough now, satisfied enough now, to bring this out to us in an update. And that will also be, also be part of 1.31. Um, there's no video on it yet, so I, you know, I would assume that the lines will hook up to the trailer and all that. They already say that, so that's pretty much a given. But I would assume they're actually going to move, bounce up and down, sway with uh, the wind, uh, stretch out when we turn, you know, if we go 90 degrees to the trailer, stuff like that. Uh, so it could, this is going to be interesting how this all looks. Now, the other thing that this is going to do, I really do wonder what's going to happen with the trailers and the trucks that we have out there. Viper's truck here, for example. You know, someone asked that to me during a live stream, and I said, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Obviously, he's going to have to update it. Is this going to be an easy update? Is he going to have to update anything? You know, that these are the questions that, you know, I don't know. I'm not a modder. Um, and, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see, because I'm sure the modders don't even know what's coming yet, and they're not going to know until they get access to the update. Some modders will jump on the, the beta as soon as that comes out. Others won't. And the reason behind why they won't, from what I have been told, what I, from what I've seen from modders, is that I'm going a little too fast here. Um, is because the beta will change. It's a beta. You know, it, it's, it's a testing version. It's not the public version yet, and so there will be updates made to it, there will be changes. So what's the point of getting into that testing and getting the code and everything so you know what you have to do to your truck or you have to do to your trailer, if anything? Just to have a week later another update come out, and then you have to redo it. So, it, yeah, it could give them a head start, and I'm sure they're going to look at it and start planning out what they need to do. But for many of them, they're not going to mess with any uh, anything on their truck until they know that is going to be the final copy. They're probably going to work and see what they have to do. But I really doubt we're going to see very many updates to vehicles while the game is in beta. They will probably wait until the game comes out. It's a public version. Everyone has it. And then they will release it. That is my guess on it. We'll have to see how that all plays out. But, uh, yeah, who knows? If we're going to have to wait for trucks to be updated or trailers to be updated, you know, if we run uh, the SCS 389 and we hook it up to a trailer like this one or the Wabash trailer, you know, are the hoses going to work? Uh, you know, are we going to be stuck with SCS trucks and SCS trailers until everything gets updated? I have not been this way yet.
But it is going to be a nice update. You know, it's one more thing to provide the more realistic look. And it's something that actually people have mentioned to me multiple times, is that they would like to see uh, the trailers. They, you know, they want us to actually have to jump out and hook up hoses. That's never going to happen. I, I don't see that. You know, we don't have any kind of walk around right now either, except for having this camera angle here. That's it. But, you know, there will be, I guess there's going to, going to be animation of us hooking up tr uh, cables. Uh, you know, things like that. You're, we'll, we'll be able to see it, that is. So, you guys, if you haven't seen the blog yet, I did, I think I did, yeah, I did share it to my Facebook page. Uh, I will put the link down in the description. You guys can go check it out for yourself and read the article. Uh, for the air hoses, and uh, decide for yourselves what you know what you think. Are, you know, let me know in the comments as well on this one. Are you guys looking forward to the air hoses, or is it a meh? Don't care. I could. I would like to see other things. Uh, what are your guys' thoughts on that? For me, it's a meh. Oh, now he turns on the turn signal. Nice, dude. It's a meh thing, in my opinion. Um, It's lipstick on a pig, maybe, and maybe that's another saying you could set, you could use. Um, you know, for me, I'd rather see trailers and cargo. You know, that's not anything that needs licensing for. You know, they don't use legit trailers in here. They're generic trailers, so you don't need a license for it. Just make up your own trailer. You got cargos over on ETS too, what that are used here in America as well. You know, why don't we have that? So, eh. I, I... But then again, I don't have a line to SCS, so I can't ask them. <laughs> I don't think they would pay any attention to me anyway. That's just, that's my opinion, though. I mean, you got, some, some agree with me, some don't. That's what I'd like to see, though. I'm not going to be on the bandwagon of, oh, we want more trucks. Uh, that's not easy. You know, do I do I like the fact that it's been two years and we still don't have anything? No, I don't. But, uh, you know, I think, and, and I, I've said my, my piece on that before, I think that's something that we, the players of this game, have to do. You know, when we post stuff to Twitter or we post stuff to Instagram uh, or Facebook and if we are following those trucking companies you know Freightliner and Mac and so on you know we should be sure to tag them in it say hey look you know there is interest in this game it's not a GTA game it's not GTA 5 it's a simulator and it, you know now that I bring that up, it kind of does make me wonder, you know, when SCS went to these companies, did they show, did they show the popularity of ETS2? I mean, I, in one hand, I, I, I would think they would, to show off how well they've, they've done, you know, the work they've done with ETS2. But, I mean, it was said in a comment here a while back that ATS was an experiment. They weren't sure how it was going to do, so they weren't going to dedicate a whole lot of time and resources to this game. They did w what little they could. You know, they get the game to where it is, where it was when it f was first released. And then they sat back and waited. And 
now here it is, and now they're going full bore. It took them over a year to finally start adding people, and they're still adding people here, you know, two years later. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of depressing that we're still at this point two years later. Let us wait for ATS2. I know I've turned off a lot of viewers, guys. There's people who don't watch me anymore because I have badmouthed SCS so much. I've badmouthed this game. Uh, I mean, I even had a thread dedicated to hating me on the SCS forums. That's fine. Um, whatever. Some people can't handle, you know, a differing opinion. Um, oh, all right, I'll stop. Some people can't handle that, you know, the criticism against something that they love, you know. But, uh, it's, it's a little depressing. It is. But this year, hopefully, will be a better year, finally, since we're getting the uh, new over overload, or no overload, jeez, oversized load pack uh, the, that they were working on. They showed that off, uh, what, a month ago, two months ago. Uh, so we've got that coming soon, sometime this year. Don't ask me when. I don't know. I'm not going to reply to anyone that asks me when it's coming out. In fact, I might even downvote your comments. Um, same for anyone that wants to ask me when 1.3.1 is coming out. I don't know. You ask me, I will downvote your comments. I don't know, but, uh, you know, we've got the over, over, oversized load pack that they showed off. We've got uh, the cables. We've got Oregon coming, and we've already seen plenty of photos of that. That's going to be interesting to see what kind of industry they bring out with that. They've already showed a shipyard. Um... I would imagine that's going to introduce this, you know, steel to us or something like that, because I don't think we have any stock cargoes that uh, would go there. Uh, obviously, there's going to be, you know, a lumber industry. Uh, they already have a lumber trailer in the game. It's locked. It's hidden in the game. So there are mods that have unlocked it and allowed you to use it. Just like the huge wing for the W900. That was locked. It was hidden. But, uh, you know, so that's already here. It'll be interesting to see what we get. I think we will see new cargo. I think we new will see new trailers with uh, Oregon. How much and how many? I don't know. And this is a really narrow curve right here, so I'm going to take up both lanes. I don't care. That's why I didn't go in. I was way too low. And the way I was downshifting there, a little bit with the clutch, and a little bit with the with the, uh, and then another 
instance was with the gas and that was the question that was brought up too you know why not why don't i downshift this way or you know i've had those questions a lot why don't i drive this way why don't i do this this way and you know everyone has their own way of driving that's all nothing more nothing less You know, I don't think anyone here drives their truck by the way the rules of the road says to. Unless, you know, that's just the way you drove, if you drove in real life. The rules of the road is you have to have your truck in gear at all times. You know, changing gears is one thing, so let's not be stupid and say, Oh, well, you're out of gear when you're changing gear. No, stop. Just shut up. But if you're at a stoplight or a stop sign, you must be in gear. You cannot change gears. You should not change gears while going over to rail crossing. Things like that. I doubt we're all driving that way. So, you know, we all have our own ways of driving, our own styles. So, to each their own. But that's going to do it here for now, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you check down below in the description for all the links that I used here. Concurrent mods, as well as the skin, the trailer, as here. Also, the SCS blog links to social media for me facebook and twitter as well as twitch so thank you all for watching once again take it easy guys